And so, this is essential to, to know because this is, this is where the world comes to worship and serve the beast as proclaimed in the book of Revelation would happen in these times. And the Babylon is struggling to hold on to their system that they know is out of control. And um, people are being told that if there is no democracy, that there is going to be a military rule, martial law. And this is very believable because the Babylonians really are not giving people rights. They are taking rights from people. When you cannot breathe fresh air, when you cannot drink fresh water, when you have to pay more and more for less and less, your rights are being taken. I hear propaganda. Someone's son died fighting for freedom. These are real patriots. Well, I never signed that draft. When they send you that draft when you're 18. Because even though I may have not knew all the circumstances, I knew better that this was not the fight that I was born to be in. And come to find out that this United States military is being controlled by money, corporate values. How is this any different than going to fight for any other country? Because these corporations are multinational, that they can put money into any military that they choose. And that's who you are taking orders from if you put on a uniform for the United States. It's not a corporation here, necessarily. This is a corporation anyway. And they give the orders through lawyers to those generals. And the generals pass the orders down the line. So this is a sacrifice of sons and daughters to the wicked one. If money, the love of money is the root of all evil in Timothy, then how is it that fighting on the behalf of money is righteous. This is the propaganda. The pedophile is a new character in a new plot to promote this term democracy. And his vile actions being shunned by the public will lead to his downfall. And you know, these people are falling down, and yet none of them go to jail. They still retain their wealth, and they go live however they like to live because they've been chosen as agents for the Babylon. And this pedophile's particular role is to give credibility to this system that, as I've explained for almost a year now, this is the beast savior that the 
beast tames the man. I uh, recently had a computer shut down. It's not the first time. Uh, my brother came. I explained to him that the smartphone is no good. He didn't listen. He decided to plug it into my computer to charge it. So, I don't have the material about the Beast Savior series in the sound bites as I was preparing to construct a composition of. And that's okay, because it was probably going to take a lot of time that I may not have. And therefore, I will attempt in my best way to explain this, that basically through the communication channels, which are all connected because if they're not being connected then most likely people aren't seeing them or hearing them okay the ones that like for example when I go to the state college and I try to you know type in a, a website and it doesn't come up well guess what the state don't want me to look at that website um, this is something that's happening now and it has to do with the fake news and these legislation is being passed so that uh, certain uh, messages are being endorsed over others this could not be considered democracy however because there's no legal term for it it is falling within the realm of common law and therefore it is acceptable uh, when you perhaps may look at a website such as Wikipedia you may see something differently than what I may see because you may have a different number of categorization than I do. And therefore, you're being directed to see certain content that I would perhaps not be. That when people input their behaviors into this digital infrastructure, it gives the Babylon a reason to judge those people. And in judging them, they codify them. And they come up with a numerical sequence which is to represent that individual. Now, the Babylon has a numerical sequence that is ideal that they are attempting to move people to. And through these fancy mathematical equations called algorithms, they're able to move people to that perfect place of servitude and worship of the beast. The more people that worship and serve the beast, the bigger the beast gets. And Babylon rides on the beast. What we are now experiencing is the point where people are being completely captivated and so that they are not able to think for themselves, that their thinking comes from the beast, that the beast rides where it will and people have no choice but to ride in the beast if they have not chosen to follow the way. There is only one good and only one bad. That there is not two evils and one righteous or three righteous and a half of an evil. It is either righteous or evil. And Lord made Satan because how will evil exist if righteousness is not? How will pain exist without pleasure? 
so because both these existences occur man is able to determine his way and Lord provide all that fear his imperial majesty with this wisdom be not dismayed for the Lord fulfill Lord covenant with Lord people that Lord mercy is sure Lord people be rewarded based on Lord will and Lord will is that I and I Obey those commands set forth.